Oh, no, he's certainly British. Oh, shut up. <laughs> What's up, everybody, and welcome to the Put in the Book Show, season two, episode number twenty-five. My number, my boy's number. My number. I'm 25. Steve Rodriguez to my right. Welcome, Keith over here to my left. What up? Uh, and producer Joe behind the imaginary glass the uh, window. The magic glass. Sell or <laughs> not to sell is going to be the theme of this episode. Uh, yep. We've come out of the All Star break a certain way. Um, which is a positive way, and uh, oh. although we're you know we're always a little scared to say what's going to be going on. Hey, get off here! <laughs> we're getting some inside reports. Hold on, some inside inside reports. Oh, okay. Live on the air. Tom Seaver call? No. <gasps> what happened? The future call. Oh, Mets are winning tonight. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Boom. Well, around tonight against uh, Bumgarner. Uh, Bum. You know, talk amongst yourselves as I share out this uh, fantastic episode. So, uh, I'm not sure if you know, I need some help. Um, do you have any spare plutonium? Should we really be talking about this on air? Oh, we'll save it for later. That's right. Yeah, let's talk about it later. All right. At the bunker. At the bunker. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I got to say, uh, what a turnaround from last week. I was so. Pissed feeling a little better week. now, though. I'm feeling little, a little better. A little uh, hopeful, maybe? Maybe. I hope is a good word. Not yeah. too hopeful. Not too hopeful, but I, I'm definitely feeling better. I mean, we we came off the Marlins. We lost the first game, and I was like, oh, here we freaking go. But uh, we've series won four Series by since. series, game by game, at bat by at bat. Yeah, very That's true. how you got to take it now. We, we've won four. Uh, we said we'd have to go, what was it, 50 and 21? 50 and 22. We'd be the first place team. Yeah. It took two games straight from a first place team. So now we just have to go 46 and 21. Our feet has become a little easier. I've been reminding you that daily. Yes. The countdown. So yeah. that's kind of like our version of, uh, or maybe we should do it. You know, in Major League, when they say, you know, the only way to do it is to win the whole effing yeah. thing. Well, we and said then, that, right? Right. But uh, when they have, a, you know, the cardboard cutout of the owner. Right. And oh, then they, they start peeling off clothes. Like what that? should do with you? Really? Yeah. You really want to see me naked? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this show just turned. That's it. This is my last show, guys. That's it. <laughs> uh, who are we welcoming in? Keith. Keith. Keith is Hi. here. Keith I'm watching. Watching. is watching. I am. I, I'm, I'm the one watching, though. So Facebook has done a little something to... Um, Stop us from seeing who's joined. No, G, it did. Uh, George, it did? Frazier, Vargas. Okay, I get Frazier. G, Vargas has been our best pitcher, uh, aside from Degrom. He's been better than Thor. We can't get rid of him, bro. Got to write out that contract. But Jeez, Frazier, he right. can go. turn his back <laughs> a year. Oh, turn his back a month, maybe <laughs> two months. But he deserved it then, and now he deserves. He was he was just no. starting to make his oh, turn no. this time last year. <laughs> yeah. No, even when he he started getting really good last year towards the end, when he he got into that group, you were still bashing him. You still wanted because to kill him because he spent the first eighty percent of the season sucking. You know what it is? We we need you to be like firm on something. I don't know what this is, but we need to get rid of it. It looks it's got a weird shape. <laughs> it definitely has a weird shape. I don't know what's going on. You know, let's send it to producer Joe. <laughs> Producer Joe <laughs> now has the awkwardly shaped object. So, <laughs> in his hand. So, do, do we want to? Um, you know, we, you know, we typically go into what has happened during the week. So, in the last several games, uh, back from the break, it's been the Marlins and it's been the Twins. I went to two of those. No, I went did. to one, one of them. <laughs> the middle one. The middle. The middle the, one. The Thor God. The, yeah. the God. The Thor yeah. one. The, the middle the first, one. The, yeah, the, the, the one between yeah, these two, two fingers. Yeah, the this middle. one. I got it. Okay. Um, Let's take a listen to what was 
Take a listen. Possibly, I, I didn't see the exit velocity on this, but possibly the hardest hit ball of the season. I think it was 110 point. Oh, uh, no. Nowhere near. Okay. Are you talking about the, uh, the, the, the shot? The shot. <laughs> Producer <laughs> Joe, can you play that for us? Top right. It is queued up and ready to go. On a run here in the eighth. And now Alonzo has gone over four today. And Alonzo hits one out of sight. That ball hits for the second deck and beyond up into the third deck. Pete Alonzo crushes one. His first home run since the All-Star break, his 31st of the year. And the roof has come crashing down on the Twins here in the eighth to put the Mets up 11 to three. I mean, it came within six or seven rows of hitting this ball out of the stadium. That's halfway up the third deck. Halfway up. Almost out of the stadium. 474 feet. Oh. The estimated distance on Alonzo's home run. It's also his 54th extra base hit, which is a new Mets rookie record. <laughs> on Big Pete. He could use a base hit. Alonzo has built up a 1 for 17 on this road trip. 2 1. Alonzo hits one in the air. Way back to left. This one's headed to the upper deck and halfway up it. Pete Alonzo with a Titanic home run. How's that for your home run derby myth? Number 31 of the year for Alonzo. And that might have been the most impressive shot of all 31. And the Mets go up 11 to 3 as Alonzo destroys one off of Matt McGill. 111 miles an hour off the bat. Statcast says it went 474 feet. 474. Uh, why don't you go dispute that? I am. <laughs> and we, we talked about furthest home runs ever hit by a Met, and that was that's just number six. It's just number six. And I heard a really disturbing stat. I don't know about Shay, uh, City Field home kind of run. I don't know if you want me to. Well, no. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. It's not because I'm going to set up Alonzo's um, breaking of this crappy record. The longest home run hit at Shea, I think, it was 460 City Field, 460 something by one Giancarlo. What's he say? Yeah. Just don't hear him. Uh, so it's it, it's having a seizure. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was trying to. What did uh, he say? I was to the longest home run ever hit by uh, it hit at City Field was, was Gian, Giancarlo Stanton. Like Giancarlo. Yeah, so he he's, he's hit he hit quite a few bombs at City Field. He did. He killed he us. Hit, but he, 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 he needs to crush that record. Welcome, Barbara. <laughs> Barbara I, has arrived. Oh, that's right, because we're, we're seeing, <laughs> we're not seeing you, the uh, the main <laughs> screen now. Barbara. So oh. that's why we're not seeing the arrivals, because who are we to see arrivals? Uh, uh, Barbara, I'm sorry, but I can never hear the name Barbara and not think of the original Night of the Living Dead. I think about you and get you, Barbara. <laughs> Barbara Eden. <laughs> yes, Master. Yes, so, um, yeah, uh, I, I got to say, my boy Pete, Gives me pride at uh, being a Met fan once again. It's a little hard this year, you know, uh, but th there's there's some He's bright spots star. on this team. Yeah, and sure. we have some bright spots on this team. Um, yeah, we have several. So and we'll get to some of that. Yeah. Yeah. But speaking of. Uh, speaking Pete, of. Speaking of. Big P, we are now four <laughs> cards deep. Oh, wow. Because Keith has very difficult trivia questions. Uh, so we'll give you guys an opportunity at the forefront of the show here uh, to give us a call at 718-577-1275 uh, to win. Right there on your screen. One of these four cards. Did you Do you want to do the honor? Sure. This is this is your thing now. Kinda, I'm challenging kinda... all of you to call in. I like the way you do things. You... Oh, thank you. 718-577-1275. Yeah. Uh -oh. I challenge you. Uh -oh. Tis the number. I'm stuck. Don't get stuck. Hello, That's what she Adriana. Said. Oh, my wife has joined. Hello, what a Adriana. Great, so what this a great, one? Uh, treat. There's one. Oh, we got to wait. Down a little bit. If right? you look to Down. that side, there you go. Okay. Look over there and you'll see. You're good. Oh, there we are. <laughs> Very nice. That's our latest one. That is the Home Run Derby uh, Tops and Now card. Back. Now there we have the same mm -hmm. card he's shown again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why? 
Did he take mine from over there? I don't know there? <laughs> Oh, did one fall? Then we're showing the same car. No, this is, yeah. this is a different car. Oh, there we go. I'm looking at the air. That's the, uh, I forget what they call this one, but that's, uh, that was the first card we started that's the, offering. The, that's the that, rookie uh, card. And none of you have won yet. That's the rookie card. That's a good card. <laughs> I've seen that card on eBay minted for five, uh, 100 bucks. That right there is um, from when he broke the rookie record for <laughs> Mets home runs. <laughs> Extreme close up. <laughs> and which one is that one? That looks like he just hit a home run really far. He did something. He broke a record. Uh, I, I think that's the, uh, I don't know. Oh, 30 home runs. I think that's, no. I don't know what it is. It's a good card. <laughs> it's something. You can read it yourself. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So those okay, are the four, four cards. cards. Potentially, like the four win. horsemen, four horsemen, four cards. Um, Keith, what was Keith? Oh, you just showed the same card twice in a row. I thought Keith was seeing things. So, no, I uh, did because it was fuzzy. I couldn't tell where it was. All right, what's that's, going that's on cool. there? So that's that's not um, that's not working. You know what you should do up there? You know we do these things. Uh, up, up, up top at the um, over there. The the cleanup, cleanup on aisle three. Over there, on the on the MacBook. So if you call in seven one eight five seven seven one two seventy five, you might get a chance to answer a question. You call anytime during the show. You it won't be too cards. hard this time. We promise we'll make sure that somebody and listen, gives you a decent question. Is so do the same on that one. Peter Alonso is going to be the offensive player name franchise. I'm. Predicting that he's, he's gonna, gonna be the what? The, you know how our pitcher franchise is the one, the only. Me, Tom Seaver. Mm -hmm. He's so he's gonna be like the offensive. He's gonna be the offensive version of for franchise. He, you think he's gonna surpass, he's gonna surpass Piazza stats as a man? If he's healthy, yes. Straw man. Yes. Yep. The captain. Yes. Healthy. Well. What's up, Tim? Yeah. You think he's going to be Timmy. better than the captain, huh? Uh, in some areas, not in all. Yeah. I mean, he's proven to be pretty clutch. Power, if he's healthy, definitely. I mean, come on. He seems like he's he's uh, getting a clutch personality, and and actually that personality in in himself, just the way he talks, the way he deals with people, the way he says things, the way he pumps up the crowd, the way he carries himself. Yeah, pump up yeah. the crowd. But you know, the captain was clutch. Continuously for many years, so he's he's Except got a while he to go. Except when he for twenty eight million dollars a year for um, three years in a row, right? Except when that happened, when this cripple ass hurt hurt us with the. Uh, did I say that out loud, or was I? Was that my inside right? voice? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think it was my inside voice, right? I think you might need to leave. It's okay, buddy. Sorry, we love you. I love him. He doesn't love you. I do. He doesn't love you like we love you. No, I don't love you like they love you. <laughs> and I never will. <laughs> Why not? Well, I just don't love men that way. All right, so um, <laughs> five games so far out from the All Star All Star break. Uh, Keith and I uh, predicted five and zero. Oh. You guys both predicted four and one. You guys were correct. You and producer yes, we Joe. are. Producer Joe, high five. Don't be happy about that, causing us to have huh? a loss. It keeps you uh, focused on your goal. Don't get don't get too uh, no, but we were too <laughs> millennial. We would be fine. We lose any we lose any more. The focus will be we'll out. Be, we're not, we'll be out super of focus. focused. <laughs> <laughs> we just I'm, won't win I'm, anything. On selling, yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll take I'll take four and one any day of the week. And not only that, we won. We won good games. Our bullpen has been solid, right? Would you say that? Yeah, it's, it's been not... better. Justin Wilson has come back. La strong. Familia. Justin Wilson has done a pretty good job. <laughs> La Familia. You know, um, okay. Sugar has been getting better. Oh, give me a he's, break. He's been getting a little better. Basic. How? Do, I've never seen this before in my life. <laughs> a guy go, is down 0-2, hurts himself, can't finish the at-bat. You bring a 22-year-old kid up, and you walk him. So uh, how's it feel? The Familia thing got turned around a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> How's that feel? Uh, so nice track. Familia... Was La Familia. Why are we talking about La Familia? We didn't talk about him. He's doing well. You start talking about him, down the crap hole again. 
Which Steve? Let's not talk about him. Which Steve are you telling? Oh, you're telling me to shut up, Ma. Okay, the familiar thing. <laughs> <laughs> don't talk about him. Yeah, he doesn't. He's not even. Oh wait, so instead of Bob McGarner, don't look at me. Don't talk about. Don't me. talk about. It. <laughs> don't talk about me. No, like, honestly, let's make that a phrase. Joe, put that up there. Don't talk about me is a new familiar phrase. Because this, when you do that, n- next thing you know, he's back to closest. I status. think you weren't superstitious. I I'm super superstitious. Super. Stupid. I super not, superstitious. Did you ever see me step on a line when we played softball? That no. I can't step you on that line. Either. I'll no. flip out. I can't. <laughs> can't step on a crack. You know why? Say it. <laughs> I won't know. You ruined it. I ruined it. You ruined it. Thank God. Thank God I ruined that one. So, um, he, he the unnamed person had a really good outing. He watching his own show. He looked like he, he looked like he got his unnamed uh, uh, pitches back. I mean, he was pitching with Dude, his balls. his stuff has been there. He just hasn't been able to hit the strike zone, which means that he's he's not lining up the same way. So, can we discuss time. that individual? We call him the unnamed. Yes. Yeah. Okay. He can be discussed that way. So that person that we <laughs> talked about, who won't be mentioned ever again, is called the unnamed. The unnamed. So unnamed looked good, but it's one outing because he came in unnamed. Two outings in the already. He's 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 been uh but he's un- been okay. The unnamed looked terrible in one of the games in Miami. Let me just say. I see a little bit of progress because I saw him delivering straight down to the plate. He wasn't all over the place. And if his ball's going to drop, let it drop in the strike zone. He, his, his ball moves all the time at 99 miles an hour, 98, 97. Did he throw 100 the other day? Oh, yeah. He's, throwing, he's strong again. Yeah. That old man, the vulture, <laughs> came, straightened his ass saw. out, moved his foot Conquered. over, and said, follow that foot, dude. It's all about repetition. Yeah. That's all there is to it. Yeah, he did. That was one of the things they pointed out. His arm is still strong. Uh, unnamed was starting his pitching with his feet closer together. And um, I think it was Ronnie that said uh, a lot of times pitching coaches will have you do that. It's really just a psychological trick. It because is. they make you yeah. feel like you're you're doing something different. You and, do it to yourself. I've, you stop, I've done that. Yeah. To just and, keep and myself you stop aligned. paying attention to your – you're uh, throwing, and you're more paying attention to this different technique, and you just throw the damn ball. That's it. Yeah, That's and, it. and Ron, even Ronnie yeah. said sometimes you just got to throw the ball. Listen, I mean, even tall pitchers have it worse because they 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 have a tough time really repeating everything. Tall, lanky pitchers. Yeah. So much but Neely is huge, man. You got to remember, he's like six, 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 Randy seven, Johnson, all, all that yeah. coming down. Yeah, Randy Johnson took him till he was like almost thirty before mm-hmm. he was really ran the guy you call Randy Johnson. He's six, six, familiar. I stood right next to him. He's about my height. About 6'2". Yeah. I, I stood next to him. He looked like 6'6 six, six to me, but I'm only 5'10". <laughs> so what are you going to say? Um, but, yeah, like even even um, even uh, our – who was the guy that came back? Chris Young. Chris. All that t- tall 6'6", six, 6'7". Six, six, oh, oh, like, like, all this lanky – uh, you know, the, the, the legs got to come all the way up. You got to start following three. You got to bring the – you know, the arms coming and back. And he was quirky. Forward. He this has got to be tucked motion, in, yep. you know. So there's a lot he was of stuff. 6'10", 6'11", I yeah, think. That's ridiculous. And it's kind of unfair to yeah. compare this person to any other picture, really. But the Grom's tall, too. The reason why I said it's unfair because the Grom is – The Grom is 6'4". The, but the Grom is, is is so compact. You know, he, he's got that, you know, the, the, the look. And then it, everything else is just he, – he keeps everything close. Yeah, but he's so really long with his arms. So mm-hmm. when he ends up throwing the ball at you, he's at least two feet closer than yeah. most of the other guys are. Six, that's, that's part of it. 6'10". For Randy Six Johnson. Foot 10 Randy. Wow. He killed dude. the bird. That that was great. I mean, yeah, that was terrible, but it was really great. That was uh, something they else. They exploded, man. It's something I showed to everybody. It exploded. Yeah, but first time I showed my son, I go, oh. <laughs> <laughs> And the odds that the bird would fly in that area at that time. It's, yeah. It's, it's, yeah, it's 90, 99 does it Incomprehensible. Yeah. Boom. That's all. That was awesome. Yeah. Too bad for the bird. But, yeah. you know, listen. Yeah. Well, it was quick. It was quick. <laughs> it was a quick. He never saw it coming. No. <laughs> that thing exploded. Otherwise, well, right. he wouldn't have flown right in the way. <laughs> so, yeah, but let's talk about Thor. Thor's got to be what? So Thor's taller than uh, Thor's 6'6. Six, six. Thor's 6'6. Six, six. But Thor has a very basic, simple motion, and he's stiff as heck. That's one thing that I that I wish that Thor but could, it, could but be a little bit how, better. But at. look how long it takes him to yeah, six, he has six. 
He has very stiff, I mean, just basic motion comes to the plate. And I, I mean, he's really strong. That's why he throws out basically yeah. 100. I, yeah, but it, everything Thor, is like. Um... You could tell when any pitcher is off because when they, when they hit with their left foot, with their front foot, and they come off, you'll see them flailing. You'll see them out of control. They'll look out of control. Okay, they won't finish. The, so when you see the ground doing that, like we were talking about it the other day, Parachi and I were talking about it. There's some jerk or uh, some Mets fan said something about the ground and flipped out because we made yeah. a, we made a we made an observation. Some jerk off. I don't yeah. know who he was, but I don't know who he was. pissed me pissed me off. Yeah. <laughs> so we were just talking about you know baseball, like a baseball player do. If you don't know baseball, you really can't get into the conversation. So that's the problem. But uh, so we were just talking about it, and we could see the problem with the Grom. Like when you see the problem with Thor, you see the problem with any of these guys. Yeah, it's right. It's right there. And you, and you watch them getting pissed at themselves. And you and you see that the Grom maintains it better than anybody. I mean, he he's really become. He a, waits until he's really become an ace. Yeah. Uh, honestly, like a leader, the the leader of the staff. I mean, the way he comports himself on, on the mound, the way he throws, the, the ang not the anger, but the, the desire to win, the competitiveness that he shows. Yeah. Thor looks like a deer in a headlight sometimes. Like his eyes are wide open. I wish. I wish he would just have like that. some of that, I'm sorry mean, to say, but some of that Matt Harvey emotion in him. I If he did, it would even make him a better pitcher, yeah. honestly. Okay, but he did. And I want to say he did. Let's go back to the playoff run 2015. And even part of 26 yeah. before he got hurt. He had that. And for some reason, he, a, he just became this shot Shot his load? What? No. I don't know. Because 60 feet, 6 inches. He's not that guy no more. No. He's, he's not, not that, that He's not that guy because he's not throwing inside as much. He's not throwing the two-seamer inside to scare people. He's not throwing up high. He's not throwing – I mean, you know, come on. <laughs> Speaking Pull of Matt, Matt Harvey. Harvey. Pull Matt Harvey. What happened uh, to Matt Harvey? What's going on? 6.88. Uh, but he, wow. he did – it was over seven. He had a five solid innings the other day. It he was over five, seven. Five. It was over. It was. Seven. And that's <laughs> a good thing. It was over yeah, seven. Not over six. Where's his last game uh, against uh, Seattle? There it is, right there. What's his Go, pitch come speed up now? Over. What's his pitch speed? Five, five and two thirds innings. Ninety-three. Damn. One, one run. Ninety-three. Three walks. Three. Average velocity ninety. Wow. His no, arm's that's dead. The, that's the exit velocity. Oh, exit velocity. Yeah, What's his average actually. speed pitch 90, speed? Oh, sorry, yeah, ninety-three. Four seamer. It's ninety three point three. Oh, it used to be ninety seven, ninety nine. Oh man, Harvey. Crack is whack. Yeah, he, said. he also seemed to be. Um, he was very, very shook up by the death of Tyler Skaggs. He said that Tyler Skaggs was such a um, a great teammate, and he was always optimistic. He uh, he, like Matt Harvey would say, you know, I'm not that guy anymore. I'm not the Dark Knight anymore. Mm -hmm. He realizes at least. Right. It's, at least he's not trying to bring it back. Sure. He said, I'm not that guy anymore. And Tyler Skaggs actually came over to his locker, sat down with him. I think Skaggs was younger, younger than Harvey. I think Skaggs was 27. 27. Yeah. And Harvey's 30. And he came up to him and he says, you need to be out there pitching as if you know you're the Dark Knight. So whether or not you believe it is one thing. But you know, going out there. So, so to look try at that. Look that. the point you're making. You're making our point basically yeah. by saying exactly how Thor should should be. Be out Just there, young. Be out there and say, "I'm the God of Thunder." I have a nickname of that. <clears throat> My nickname is Thor. I throw down hammers, dude. I throw hammers at people. He you just... know, come on. Yeah, but that doesn't help the image. Oh. <laughs> it's a little, it's a little dark. Sorry. <laughs> you want to make him so, tough? Okay. Don't don't bring up he, his bubble. <laughs> Frachi just Doesn't spoke help. to his bobblehead and whispered. I don't know if y'all can hear him. Maybe he did because of his you. microphone. I'll talk to you later. He's reassuring his doll. Anyway, oh, my $35 Spider-Man is here from last week. Daddy Warbucks in the house. <laughs> Take a look. It is pretty cool, actually. It is very cool. That's $35 well spent. I can't hold it because I'll drop it. I know. Don't don't give Rodriguez anything because he drops stuff. He breaks things. Um, Let me see it. Oh my God! <laughs> two what hands, he two heads. He broke my other Spider Man. I did not break that Spider Man. Uh -huh. he I did dropped not. it. No, you dropped it. You it did. Fell. All right. Yeah, from your hands. See, he agrees. Stop it making fell. him do that. It's a bobblehead. He's supposed show to him. shake. Show him what it looks like. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Look at that. 
Mm. Spider-Man, the best superhero out there because he's a Mets fan. Eat my butt, Parachi. Eat my butt. <laughs> Eat, Eat my, my shorts. Butt. Kiss, his, kiss, his, kiss my butt, Parachi. <laughs> <laughs> He just started with the Homer Simpson. Spider Man would never say that to me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, so uh, we handled um, the second two games against the Marlins, the money bags. <laughs> That's right. I got to admit, I felt a certain way after losing the first game. I did too. Against the Marlins? I was just a little irritated. Because I, I, I was too. like, oh, you know, we need these games. Yeah, but you, and we lose the first one. You guys that's what gonna, I said. When you we, we guys are lose game, Here we go again. Yeah. So, so then we uh, we handle business. The Didn't second. Didn't we two say games. that was going to be a loss? Joe and I said that was going to be a loss. You said that would, we would take two out of three. Yeah. yeah. Vargas, Just because Vargas you're right, is the obvious game to lose. You have to have a little bit of heart and say, yeah. okay, we might lose this one. Yeah. <laughs> um. Then we head into Minnesota against a team that's been in first place all year. All year. Uh, struggling a little bit now, but that lineup is just strong. Insane. They got guys. Uh, they that have guy eight Sano guys. Scares eight guys. me. So no, I don't know why. Uh, very scary. <laughs> they have been on a tear. I don't know how many runs they've been scoring in a game, but every time I look at the Giants games, it's like they, they have scored eight runs, seven runs, six and runs. Their pitching is not I'm bad like, from what I saw. I, I didn't see it, bad pitching. You know, it's, Nobody's talking about the Giants yet. You're getting out of yourself. Who are you talking about? Twins. Oh, <laughs> I am getting out of thanks, thanks for watching the show. No uh, problem. <laughs> uh, so the Twins. We will get to the Giants later on, but the Twins. I'm so broke I can't pay attention. The Twins have struggled. Batman. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, from a win-loss perspective, but their hitting has still been there. They, yeah, they, it's been they have, strong. They have eight, uh, uh, eight or ten guys that have hit ten home runs or more this year. Just their catcher, cra- yes, has sixteen home runs and like one hundred and fifty at bats. Yep, yep. That's it, insane. That's does. insane. This is their first four-game losing streak of the season. Right, and yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, uh, and yesterday we handled them. Very well. Yeah. Um, no. Well, listen. You were a little, a little bit, of, a little bit okay. of truth. It was a, it was a back and forward game. You know, it's back okay. and forth game. I'm, what was what I'm trying to say. But they helped us a lot. That, that fly ball. That fly ball, bro. <laughs> Come on. Look even better. That it's fly the first ball. Three game losing streak, not four. They have. This is the first time all so year first, they've lost. We gave them their first three game losing streak and the first four game losing streak. Wow. All in one series. How many errors did they make yesterday? Two. I, didn't they make errors in the first game too. They made a couple errors. It's funny because their defense they, they, was, was uh, dookie. They made some fine which, defense which is plays. weird because they're like top five in defense in the American League. Yeah, they've made some fine. Came at a fortunate time. Maybe that's a sign for they us. Botched a couple too. Um, Polar bear scared them. Ass. I mean, what? What? Who did you say? <laughs> I'm not asking you. you got problem? <laughs> um, stop staring at me. I'm getting angry. Oh, wow. Interesting. <laughs> We're going to have a staring contest. We're doing a show. <laughs> He's not focused again, see? My mom's yelling at you. She is. You both lost. <laughs> I didn't. We weren't playing. I'm trying to do a show. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, so now we uh, they head, head off to San Francisco, which we are your kind of early on pregame show. We were the pregame show to the pregame show. Getting you warmed up for getting you warmed uh, up, baby. Todd Zeal and what's his sexy name? Sexy talk. You think we'll you think we'll beat the pirates? <laughs> what is he doing? Mom Fries is gonna lose her mind. <laughs> Tonight's a really interesting game, right? Because it's it's but it's the Mad Bomb versus Thor. You can't look at him, so how can he hit against them? I want. <laughs> Can, can, we, can we skip a few segments? Because I have a Fwakata and it kind of fits in right You now. feel like Fwakata? You, yeah. you know the Fwakata takes precedence. Fwakata could be you know that. anywhere. S- since we're playing Cincinnati tonight, I want to... I, wanna... <laughs> <clears throat> uh, I, I have a special Fwakata. And it, it's it's for Bumgarner. And Bumgarner, I want Alonzo to hit a home run off you. And I want him to stare at you all around the bases. Non-stop. So you know what, Bumgarner? Fuck a top! Yeah! 
That's it. That's what I'm talking about. I like right. it. I like good. that fuckata. That's a good fuckata. Yes. <laughs> no, I do. I want Alonzo to hit a homer off from him. I want him to run on bases. And then we'll see if Cincinnati comes out of the bullpen to face the Giants. Yes. No, I mean, it makes sense. I don't know if he's saying it on purpose. I don't know either. Um, so we got the Giants uh, tonight. We might as well go into, into that series. Giants have been pummeling people. They right have now. been yes. scoring a lot of uh, runs. Scoring a lot of runs, um, making some moves in the National League West. They're still going to be sellers. Um, they're still looking to trade Baumgartner. Um, which, Who would you trade for Baumgartner? Let's, let's, let's say that right now. Right? I don't know what they're looking for. I, they, they can't. What do you think if, they need? If they're, if, but if they're if they're going into full blown re, uh, rebuild mode, which was, so they try to kind of do what we did back in what we were talking about a little bit earlier today, the uh, two thousand one stuff with mm-hmm. Mavon and Alomar. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So they try to do that. They, they were they were not a couple of pieces away a couple of years ago, and they signed you know Evan Longoria. They brought Sandoval back. Um, they brought in McCutcheon. They brought in all these guys that were not super superstars, and even Longoria is kind of towards the tail end, helping you know twenty twenty five home runs. That kind of kind of like what we did with Adrian. Yeah, Gonzalez but it worked also. for them. It didn't. Well, no, it didn't work. Now it is. Well, Longoria caught fire. Pablo's. Yeah, I don't know where they are. Pablo's playing really good now. They moved back to third. Yeah. True. I haven't seen much from him. I'm not lately. a Sandoval fan. If I was a Giants fan and they signed Sandoval, I'd be like, come on. Why? The same reason that we signed Jed Lowry. No, you Why? would. You, you, he'd be a fan favorite <laughs> and he'd kind of Jed's be on board. Dead, baby. Come on. At least he has history with them. It's true. Right. That's why they shouldn't sign Lowry him. Lowry hasn't, hasn't played it down for us. Mark Lowry. <laughs> All right. So let, let's, let's go through uh, the series. Lowry. So tonight we got at 945 Eastern time. Uh, we got Thor takes his 4.55 ERA Ugh. against Madison Bumgarner. Do not so look at bad. me. Uh, Don't Gardner, look at me. Uh, uh, look at that ERA, though. 3.86. You notice he throws the same the same way for every single pitch. Yeah. The same motion. That's why he has nothing really outstanding. His, his speed is not outstanding. His slide is not outstanding. Nothing is outstanding except the fact that he throws everything from the same slot this, at the same speed, which is amazing. And he, if he locates just like any other pitcher, he doesn't even have to locate. Yeah, you don't know what's coming. Have, it's the same arm speed. What was the stupid You remark? can see different arm speeds with he's different pitches. What was the but... stupid remark you said the Marlins announcer said during the game? <laughs> <laughs> oh God, I forgot. But it was it was really it was really anal. Like, uh, uh, well, if uh, if a guy, it's basically like if a guy hits a home run, he's gonna score a run. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> something stupid like that, you know. It was like ridiculous. But um, I, I, I want to go back to his point for a second. Is Bumgarner on his last year? His walk year? Yeah. So I wouldn't want him on his walk year, unless it's a trade and sign. It's for the playoffs, dude. That's what we need him for. We base, don't want baseball him on the doesn't team. do that anymore. He's they, a the baseball doesn't do trade and sign. Don't. Look, he, he producer Joe's helping us out by giving us stats here. One point two eight ERA. Last three starts, one point two nine. One point two nine. Bumgarner, wow. How about, uh, how about uh, not know, rent, how about renting that guy? A yeah, team like make the playoffs. A team like the Braves. I hope not. God, I'm, I hope no, not. Hope that would not, be the worst thing that could happen to us. Um, yeah. We'll never catch him. I don't want him in the East. <laughs> the Phillies. He'll win ten games. Like He'll win ten games with the Braves. The only, the only reason I would say I'd be less upset about him being in the Phillies is because the Phillies have given up so much talent already, and if you know Giants are going to want youth because they're, they're going to want to build up some young yeah. talent. If they give up more of their farm, I'm okay with that. Sell the farm because a lot of their – I mean, what do they have up in the, in the majors besides Ooh. Bryce Harper? Everybody else is 30-plus. I don't want him in the Phillies either. I don't either. The Phillies, don't he, he could – any team he goes to – Because he hurts us. Well, any, well, he'll hurt us. But any team that he goes to in the East, it's going to have a legitimate chance to win the division. You think he's going to hurt us tonight? You think we're going to get to him? I no, it, I, I think. think um, do, do we? Do we? Uh, I, I know you guys are talking about the lineup. I, I kind of miss it. Um, but do we know what the lineup is tonight? No. I, I, I heard a rumor to, to the grapevine that a certain center fielder that can't hit his is body weight tonight? is is uh, is pitching tonight. Uh, Joe, do we have pitching the or hitting? Hitting is playing. Focus. 
Joe, really? just waiting to say that to somebody else. <laughs> Joe, do we have the the lineup for the mess tonight? I uh, but you know why? Because Conforto is crap against Mad Bomb. Yes, he is. He actually Mad Bomb single handedly derailed uh, Conforto's yeah. sizzling yeah, but hot now, start. But, when, but if you sit him against ago. him, you, you play into the psyche a little more. This is also true, because if there so, is a playoff situation, you want Conforto. But, but honestly, want... I would want a right, I would want all right-handed batters against them against them tonight. Even if Conforto may yeah. have, have to sit the first five innings, sit him down. I don't, I'd keep McNeil in. That's a the only guy. Lequeist Lagares is playing center. Lequeist. Yeah, but yeah. what's his stats against Baumgartner? That's the issue here, not the fact that he sucks. His stats, his, he, his stats against Bumgarner. What do you think it is? Can you say Bumgarner like that again? Bumgarner. Bumgarner. His stats. Oh well, I can see why now. He's he's batting one sixty seven against. Oh, Bumgarner. perfect. So that makes sense. He's batting one sixty seven against Bumgarner. Yeah, it makes sense. Is that today's lineup? Okay, so wow. Today's lineup is McNeil uh, leading off in uh, right field. Davis. Jamie Davis uh, I would play Conforto. Conforto's 0 for 9 against Bumgarner. He's bound to get a hit. Uh, all right. Well, wow. I, I, I do like um, you got three straight righties that can pop um, batting 2, 3, and 4. And you got Jeff McNeil leading off who's batting 390 against lefties this year. There's, um, a, there's a very good chance we're gonna sco- we, we can score on him. But, I mean, he is he is really tough. I, I, I'm guessing that they wanted to – Break up the the three straight righties uh, by putting Cano fifth, but I would I would pop Rosario, uh, Rosario above him against. No. Um, I, I would not put Todd Frazier fourth. No, Bumgarner is going to make this guy look foolish today. Frazier, you know he he gets a Bumgarner hit. doesn't he have gets... this pitch. He doesn't have that pitch. That's the pitch that makes that makes Frazier look like a douche. Yeah. I mean, when he swings out of his feet, you know, out of his shoes, basically trying to hit a pitch like that. Bumgarner has this. Frazier. So Frazier against uh, five hundred. Oh, uh, all right. Batting five hundred against him. Yeah, and four and fourteen at bat. <laughs> he's got the most experience next and to Ramos. R- Wilson Ramos, and he's four twenty nine, and he's not playing. And he's not playing. <laughs> <laughs> what the fudge? <laughs> And Rosario is 0 for 7. <clears throat> and Nito's batting nothing. He's never faced J.D. Davis is 0 for 5. Uh, it's not a pleasant four. thing to just face Bumgarner. He, he kind of kills our lineup. Uh, but anyway. But anyway, listen, we'll if, Nito, if we need Nito in there to make uh, Thor be a real man and actually become a pitcher. Get it done. Get it done. Well, yeah, Ramos if, can if come in Ramos, at, at, at the 6th or 7th inning. What's the giant hit match Pitch up, Joe? What's or, the giant you know, match Or, you know, he could start three against, days a week. Against uh, Thor. Because that if. If it's... All right. Okay, so let's look at the Giants against Thor. Then they don't do crap against Thor. The whole entire team has no home runs. They have a total of five, four, three RBI, four, three, two, one. They're two, two, three they're two superstars and, have done well. Yeah, but is Buster Posey even playing right now? Go back to the lineup. No, no, he's he's out, right? Yeah. Or is he back? How can no, he be out? No, he's back. The lineup? He's oh, back he is? second. Yeah. I thought he was out. I thought he was injured. He he was for a while. Okay. Which is, explains the five home runs. Is he a catcher? Good. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, if, still... if you look at the matchups, they have no power against Thor. Three RBIs total. The highest uh, average is Joe Panic and Buster Posey. And that makes sense. Uh, no one should hit four. Then after that, you got 067. <laughs> no one. 167, uh, zero with only one at bat, though. Uh, Sandoval's batting 250, but that don't count because he's. Everybody should be batting like Brandon Belt against Thor. Yeah. 067. Yep. And he has every bats. pitch. That's so, a that's a big sample there. All so that. You think we're gonna no crack Brandon. Mad Bum, or you think because Mad Bum's been hot, you think he's gonna give up the heat? I think or... he's gonna uh, he's gonna dominate us, uh, and we're gonna get lucky. All right, but we can. <laughs> and, um, we can and the bullpen, the Giants bullpen is top six. In the league, so this is not a situation where like let's get to somebody, and let's get or let's get to the bullpen, because getting to the bullpen is, has not been an easy feat. Everything for we're Giants saying opponents. tends to us losing this game. <clears throat> okay, but let's remember that. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, but let's remember they're still under they're still an under five hundred team for the, the Giants. That is, yeah. Um, so, so are we. So are we right. 
A fight well, of, of the squares. Speaking of, <laughs> somebody reminded us yesterday that it's a little bit different than what was stated yesterday, but uh, it, the, the Mets are, are in an interesting situation right now. Um, I find it very, very interesting because... Right. It was me, right? <laughs> right? It was me. Why are you so racist dropping Black Panther? Wow. <laughs> yeah, Spider-Man didn't fall. Yeah. What's that about? What's up with that? Spider-Man's a little more agile. Than <laughs> um, I find it even more interesting in it that we have uh, the hard uh, trade deadline uh, right. this year. That the Mets, and I'm sure there's other teams that are in the same kind of boat, uh, but in, in either league. But the Mets are have the third worst record in the National League right now. Yet they're True five that. games out of the wild card. So this makes a, a GM's job a nightmare at this time of the year now because you're sitting, it's July 18th. Yeah, you don't know. You got 13 days, less than two weeks for the trade, the hard trade deadline. You can't mm-hmm. make any more trades after that now. Uh, your third worst in the league, but damn it, I'm only five games out of first uh, out of the wild August, card. September, and October. August and September. So August and September. You got two months. There's no regular season <clears throat> October games this year. No. Usually, sometimes it spills over just a little bit. They cut it down. Yeah, it's because we, we started. We started season early. started early. So this two year. two months to 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 get into the playoffs. And uh, I'll, you know we've gained four games on the Rockies uh, in the last four days. I'm, I'm just kind of going through Pittsburgh. We gain a mm-hmm. game on the, uh, San Diego. We play San Diego next week. There's no team in we front of us San that we can't beat. We we are are basic. We're in control as much as a, a potential wild card team can be. We're in control because we we're, we're about to start playing Pittsburgh, San Diego. Diego. We gained we're four playing games San already Fran right now uh, on the on the Rockies. We're about to play San Francisco. And then, then you know, with those four teams out, you know, potentially out, now you're only talking two teams ahead of you for the wild card spot with less than two weeks to go. So do you buy or do you sell if you're Brody? So I'm going to say it. I, I didn't are, say Are it. you going to say it and then change your mind five Wait, minutes later? I didn't later? say that to say, <laughs> you know, for us to say buy or sell because we kind of did that last week. But that's a really crazy situation to be in. Uh, from a baseball operations standpoint, to make that kind of a decision. So well, that's why and, these two and, weeks and, are and, important. And you're going to be this record right damned now if important. you do, damned if you don't. No, you won't. But, yes. But, uh, if New they York, lose New the York, first 10 games, you, 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 sure. people will be like, whatever. Let, let, sell, let, sell. Let, let, let's say a couple days before the deadline we hits. <laughs> and we are – we're similar situations. So maybe we have the – first. Six worst record, and but we're, and we're three games out of the wild card. And Brody and team say, okay, we're a little bit too far out. Let's not take any chances. Let's get what we can for these guys. And then we, we but we're not losing wait, superstars right, though. So right, that would not happen. But we're we'd be losing pieces that have helped us to get where we are. Frazier, Vargas, Okay, t- so so take out that that forty game stretch where Frazier was batting almost uh, three hundred when he was smoking the ball. Yeah, we'd be less than that. I we'd agree. be less than that. And take but, out take out Vargas stepping up. Okay. Here's. But they're not future. So, they're not no, future. No, no, no. So but it doesn't is, matter. Not if you future. Get but if you're gonna well, hold do on, it, what's your point? What and, you, what's the point? My you're at? my point is that if Brody does sell those guys, and then we're left saying, well, what could have been? So damn if you do, damn if that's, you don't. You but you have that, the like, replacements for the. Let's just let's take it a little bit further. Then you have replacements for those guys. You have JD Davis to take over for Frazier. You have Anthony K to come up and take over for Vargas. You have the replacements. But you in know place. what Anthony K is. Yeah, it doesn't league. matter yeah. because Bar- Vargas, Vargas can only give, Vargas can only give you five innings. If but Anthony K gives you five what, innings, what what's the difference? Five is innings is average Ferrachi's, across the league. Well, you're talking about for the rest of the year. Ferrachi's yeah. Ferrachi's saying that these guys we're not re-signing them anyway. Right. Where we are now, so. and it, like for example, he was saying Frazier went on a hot streak. If we didn't have Frazier on a hot streak, we might not be where we are. But you know, then there's the other side of that, right? You have when, JD but Davis. No way, you if just said that. JD Davis playing. That is it. That's what he said. If it was J.D. Davis playing, <laughs> then I think that, honestly, we would not be much worse 
off than if it was Frazier playing. I don't think so I, I think I, we'd I be better off I don't know to be I honest. In some ways, yes. I think we'd be way better off. I think I think ways, JD yes. Davis would have put more would have, would have more home runs than Frazier right now. His average would be higher. He wouldn't play he, he's not as good defensively as Frazier, and that's a given, but you get more offense out of him. Guar- now, guaranteed. Now Vargas right? in half is as bad. He we still didn't has have Vargas, as much offense. I think we would be in a less less uh, in a worse position than we are now. Because I don't know who would fill that spot for Vargas, honestly. Because Vargas has stepped up. Who are you putting at Lugo? Then who's going to fill that? We were all spot? talking that so, we still we wouldn't trade Vargas anyway. Right, but what he's saying is, if we didn't have these players, where would we be now? And if we lose them, how are we going to win going forward? Right? Is that kind of so? It's like a damn. If he's saying damn, if you do, damn if you don't. If he trades these players. They're not going to continue to help us through the season, and we're only if five we're, games out. If we're three if games don't out, don't trade them, and we lose. He's not going to trade. Then you lose out on getting something. But I disagree, and I, I think two things. One, this series is huge. What are you saying? What this are you series, saying? Well, if you listen, you'll hear. <laughs> this series is huge. I think if we blow this series, we just might sell. And I think that damn if you, damn if you don't, is going to lean a little bit more towards sell. But if we come out and win three out of four. I think we're going to either stay neutral or possibly buy, depending no. what. It's buy or sell. Forward. No, if you we can't win three out of four, you buy can't or sell. That. Everything's not finality, bro. There's, there's, there's terms. I'm to it. trying to get, I'm there's trying to get to you to, to to stand up for something. You, but you can't. <laughs> you got to. You what can, happens. bro. It's it's July 4th, uh, 18th. You still got twelve days. Why would you make the decision now? Based on if we what went three out of four, forward, what? we're playing four games against a team that we're right behind in the wild card. Stop. So why you would you said decide why? now? So if we lose all those games, if we shit the shit the bed with these with this team, as you say, <laughs> then why would you sell? Huh? If we lose all the games, why would you sell? Why would you sell? Because then you said if we win all the games, if, if you, if why you, why would you, you buy? From, being, but, having so a which one is it in the cellar? Then yes, of course you're gonna sell. But you have 12 days to decide that. Probably really 10 because you got to give at least two days to make a deal to start making. But uh, you know you have 10 days to decide that. And in those 10 days, we're facing four against the Pirates, uh, three against the Pirates, and four against the Giants. San Diego. Two oh, now you're adding to it again. And San Diego, two, okay. three teams that are right ahead of us in the wild card. <laughs> no, it's not, I'm not adding to anything. I'm saying we have to the end of the month. Why make the decision now? You can't make that decision now. You can't. I could saw you just said if we lose three out of four games, that you're gonna sell. No, I said I if you lose three out of four games, you might want to start thinking about going neutral, <laughs> thinking about selling. I didn't say you would sell. I gotta replay everything back because I'm hearing he's saying everything back. You know we will. <laughs> uh, no. So anyway, uh, all, all of this whatever. caused me to maybe for the first time ever, but I won't go that extreme, agree with something that was written in the New York Post. Oh, Jesus Christ. Why would you do that? So, Joel Sherman. Oh, Joel Sherman. Well, let me read it before you start not agreeing with it, because I said I agree with I it. I don't agree with it. <laughs> you got to tell me my bedtime story. So, he's, he says that um, the Mets should have both, this is not the part that I agree with, both DeGrom and Syndergaard available for trades at a $2 on the dollar price and see if the Yankees, Braves, used anybody is willing to severely overpay. Fast forward a little bit. Oh, my God. He's Now he starts talking about uh, this is not about believing that the Mets have a great playoff chance. Even winning four straight out through Wednesday, the Mets were given an 8.7% percentage likelihood uh, to get to the playoffs. Right. This is about what kind of return is possible for an injured Wheeler, Jason Vargas, and a Todd Frazier, which is not much. If right. this is going to be just a money dump, which is what we've kind of gotten used to with this team, right, uh, then shame on the Will Ponds. They deserve every slight about cheapness and is about more than acquiring Eric Handholds and Jacob Reams. Then what's the point? You might as well take that 8.7% 8, 8. opportunity. Uh, and then at, at the end, he says, plus the Mets are not in rebuild mode. They are going to try and win again next year. Right. So this is all we're agreeing with all this so far. I'm agreeing that the Mets are trying to win again next year. That's all I'm agreeing with. What didn't you agree with? The, that's just the, just everything else he says. Go or, is no, that, I, I said that's the only thing. But you, you agree that you don't agree that we won't get much for Jason Vargas or Todd Frazier? Yeah, I agree we won't okay. get much for them. No, but that's like... For, it's like saying the sky is blue. Yeah, I knew that. So, Joel Sherman. You, you would be lucky great if you analy- get a, you'd get a top 50 prospect player. for any of them. Top 100 prospect for any of them. 
Jason Vargas. Yeah, We're lucky you get him from Jason Vargas. So and he's, and he's 10 years younger. <laughs> in, in, in closing for this article, and for example, the Phillies are not going to surrender much for Frazier, the Angels for Vargas, and the Brewers for Wheel, Wheeler. Why yeah, not? Why would we trade it to our own division? Joel Sherman, you're an idiot. We did. Yeah. We traded our Jubal Cabrera to the Phillies. But we were completely out last year. No, we were hopeless when we traded as Jubal. Frazier? As Jubal was his best. Think, has you having our, a, Farachi, you think our scenario now is similar on. to what it was last year when we traded as Jubal? I think now we have more... Hope chance at a team that there was no shot out. last year. Selling is selling. Year done. No, it's not. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, if you're not. selling, you're selling. No, it's not. Oh, okay. Who, who's who's, I, who's okay. worried about the fra- the, the Philly signing Frazier? If we're at the point where we, we lose. if we're saying yeah, it, okay. not today. Okay, I got you. If we lose but seven to the next ten, if we become we sellers, start dumping. Okay, I got you. Good point. Yeah, who cares who they're trading to? Uh, and the Angels for Vargas and the Brewers for real. Why not just play this out rather than performing a fan angry salary dump for minimal prospect returns? Maybe Will Pond gets a meaning meaningful September. Perhaps this is the year an eight point nine percent playoff chance pays off. That's what I agreed with. If if we shouldn't be trading these guys anyway, we're not going to get the return. So if we're close, screw the sell mode. Go full in. You don't have to go full in buy mode where you're giving up all these prospects for a bum yeah. gardener, although that would be nice. Um, but don't trade these guys. If we're three got, games, if, if we keep, keep them three games from any playoff spot, and then if they leave, okay, spot, we stay. We, yeah. we Frazier and Vargas are not are not uh, type A free agents, and you know they 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 classify at the end of the year. So who knows with the with the Wheeler injury if he'll even be classified as that anymore? If we win five of the next seven games, we're gonna shoot up in that wild card. We're probably gonna be three to two games behind, and it's huge. That's what I'm saying. You can't be final. You can't make sell by. You can't do that right now because we have little. You know, there's a little shimmer of hope in there. So shimmy, shimmy. I said two weeks. I told you guys on yeah last, in ten days. Guys, honestly, two weeks. It'll be the twenty eighth. There's three like, days left in a month. At that point, if you'll change your mind again, Ryan Hunt sucks. <laughs> well, no, maybe I'll make it my mind have, all I day. I haven't said either way. If <laughs> if in ten days or ten <laughs> games we're in a position where we just sucked it up, then yeah, we should probably sell. But if we're in a position where, um, and that's only if we get something for somebody. I don't want to sell just to sell. When, but if, if we're, we're gonna get single, we're gonna get single or double A guys, guys for both out of the for all those guys. Part, yeah, no. Either buy or stay neutral. Stay with what you got. Or it, right, it, it, I, and I, 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 I would or do like both. to see Why that. Why can't you do both? What? Buy and stay neutral. <laughs> um, John, uh, is our is our um, Skype up and running? Make sure you dial that right number, uh, John. Can you? Can you? Okay, you you Canadian. Can you, John, can you? Is Skype wow. Maybe it's not Pretty cool. Yeah, it is. Oh, it is. All right. Give us a try one more time. 718 577 1275 is the number to call uh, if you want an opportunity to win one of the Pete Alonso cards. Yes. With that we're, that we're stockpiling. There you go. Want to show them again? You could. We'll do a little. So, we'll do a little. Should we buy or should we sell? <laughs> should we buy or should we sell the baseball cards? Should we buy or should we? Can, can you ask? Ah, screw this. Boink. That's one. Eat a Lanzo card. Deuces. At least my nails are clean. <laughs> Deuces. Yeah, I don't think you can say at this point buy or sell. You can't. You can't pick one. Deuces. I know. Uh, and Rodriguez don't like conversation. He likes yeah, final answers and everything. Pretty he can't, boy. He just can't. There's no way. He'd be stupid to do that. Honestly, if if <clears throat> Van Wagon it right now started selling, it would it would be a disastrous. No, I want you. PR I want you to give a final answer on something. I will. <laughs> I will. After, Next week, seven days. You got seven days to decide whether we buy or sell. Uh well no because after that we played the Padres before the months out who's also right ahead of us in the mm-hmm. wild card okay after the Padres you decide I can say that yes 100 percent after the Padres I'll give you my final answer what I feel we should do so what if we go four and three now if we lose don't what if games, don't what if no not, not seven game. you're not gonna make seven. them stop I'm not gonna extreme say one or the other so we go four and three and then we're four games out 
if we go four and three and we're four games out, we still have the Padres number one. And honestly, if we split that, in with San the Padres, Francisco, the three games I want three. If After the split, Padres series, let them don't let. If we split in San Francisco, that. that's a good series. Honestly. Look at that. What do we have now? San Francisco's got pretty Giants, tough. four with the Giants, three with the Padres. Three with the Pirates. The Pirates. Oh, so after the Pirates series. So after the Pirates series. Yeah, after the Pirates at the end, series. At the end of the month. I thought we played the Pirates for the Pirates, but whatever. Either way, it's all at home. That's, <clears> those <throat> are the two weeks I, I told you to give the guys. Two weeks <laughs> after the All-Star game. See what they can do. They're ready to go. They're ready to go. Four and five so far. Um, all right, let's get to uh, – you want to do the moment of the week? Moment of the week brought to you by – and now it's time for the Mets moment of the week. Good job, Adrian. <laughs> Mets moment of the week will be. Go ahead, play it, Joe. At age 22, coming straight up from double A. Three one double A. And he drives it to deep right center field. Headed back to the wall. That ball is out of here. Michael Conforto with his first major league. And he made him pay. And he made him pay. That was uh, Michael Conforto, his first major league home run. Uh, came double A up to the major leagues, and he hit it down in Miami against the Marlins. Uh, and I just made the observation that he was hitting eighth because uh, as they were celebrating, then they go back, and it was Cologne up at the plate. Batting eighth, huh? Big sexy. Batting eighth. And I, I, the reason why I picked that, number one, I'm a Conforto fan. And if you're a Met fan, you're not a Conforto fan, you're probably a little warped. Um, he's frustrated sometimes, but he, he's he's a talented ball player. Uh, but I think that was the year, 2015, that even though we, we've we've had obviously bad stretch outside of 2015, uh, the Mets kind of changed their tone a little bit and how they treat their young talent. We started because we used to like protect our young talent, never bring them up, and we just shot this kid right from Double A. We're like, we need somebody to. Put a plug into this team. Yeah, there was Boom. nothing going on. There was and he nothing. did. Yeah, and he, he came it. up. And it, then right after that, we got Cespedes. Uh, and then the whole Wilmer moment. So there was a lot of emotion and a lot of – Why did you talk about him? A lot of, <laughs> a, a lot of fire injected into the team, and he was part of that. Uh, you know, so – and we've kind of continued that, right? We brought McNeil up without any shame last year and started him this year. Alonzo, right out the gate, he started this year. We didn't he do that forced his way up. He, well, he, I mean, he, he gave they, they no didn't choice. want to bring him up. He, he gave us no choice. choice. I've, Alonzo. Okay. Yeah. Oh, but yeah. I've seen teams in the past, even though somebody came out so strong and, and really forced the issue, teams still held him down for that whole contractual nonsense. And um, Bernie Van Wagen and broke broke the, the mold on that one. We've stuck now, with Rosario, who's batting 275 now with 10 homers. I mean, you know, so we're, we're investing in our youth, and hopefully Van Wagen can take the talent and – Build around that and stop getting players like Frazier. Dump, three or, four sal- but, dump no. three or four salaries and bring up bring up a couple of kids. Yeah, but anyway, that's a quick note of why I picked that uh, moment of the week. Uh, and speaking choice. of that moment of the week. Oh, well, real, real quick, uh, John poses the question. He says, you know, you remember the turnaround in 2015, the Flores trade that never happened, the yeah. home run, the game-winning shot against the sure Nationals did. a few games later. And that was well, later in the year, right? That was July August. 3rd. That was like late July, early August. Uh, late July. Like, yeah, it was yeah. right before the trade deadline. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Uh, it was the night where we almost gave up. Uh, uh, we almost got Carlos. Right? So we Gomez. almost gave up Flores and Wheeler, Wheeler for Gomez. For Carlos Gomez. What a bad trade that was! Oh been. my God! Imagine wow. that. Wow. So do you do you wow. think that there's going to be another moment like that that will cascade us into the playoffs? I thought I saw one yesterday. And the day before, and the two games before that, 
I'm seeing moments. Yeah, no, he's right. And yeah. I think, uh, to Rodriguez's point, I in think the eighth inning, I'm seeing it'll them. come in a different fashion. It's not going to be the same way. I, I don't think if we do that, it's going to be a trade. I think it's going to be our people injecting energy like that. Alonzo, 474. That's how you shot. build a team. Yeah. So, you let your kids win. But, you know, who knows? Maybe if we go on a tear, maybe if my decision after the 28th is we're going to buy, maybe the Mets will listen to me and they'll go ahead and purchase uh, – but he was in. But you won't, just, you won't give a decision. You won't give a decision. Yeah. I'm fairly confident that you will not give a decision. Well, I have no choice after the 28th. You must give a decision. Well, yeah, because that's you the must. Yeah. <laughs> you want you a must. decision now, but that makes no sense. I don't want a decision now. I, I, I told no, you, you I don't about. have a decision. You asked him for a decision. Now. Yeah. I, I, I said, you don't want a decision now. And I said, I want you to on. decide what you're saying. I want you to stick to what you're saying, not just I, say, I, I I'm going to buy or I'll sell or I'll stay if this and that. I just say, yeah, this is what I would do. But I, you can't make that decision now. Sure. All right. What was so the uh, decision? <laughs> you can make that decision now. What's your decision? Buy or sell? Stay the way we are. Okay. You can. Make, are you prepared to make that decision now? Buy or sell? No, I'm not. Because if, <laughs> if we suck, I would like to get... Gun. You would get run out of this Gun. GM gone. Uh, Gun. Game I'd win games. I tell you that oh, right really? now. Yeah? And listen, I guarantee you I would win games. Firing Rodriguez is brought to you by Brooklyn Water <laughs> Coffee Roasters. From their roastery to your front door. I could hardly read this because this, this, my script is like two years old now. Um, Just say what you say. Said it for two years already. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, the finest beans from all over the world. Uh, so enjoy a big cup of drunken pig, but don't worry, no animals were harmed in the making of this <laughs> non alcoholic treat. Or you can try some dark roast, dark chocolate. It's good for you. Uh, how many calories? I forget. Saddle. Saddle. Uh, and it's full of rich chocolate flavor. Chicken and waffles. Yes, that's right, folks. Chicken and waffles. Coffee and chicken and waffles. It's nuts. It'll blow your mind. And it's got how many calories? Saddle. Boom. Saddle. <laughs> you can also try medium roast, which is hands down the most popular coffee, a blend of African and South American coffees. The blend is full-bodied and complex coffee that offers sweet citrus note and a lingering bright finish. You can also try jacked up cupcake, which we like to call our friend Rodriguez over there. Um, Brooklyn Water Coffee offers a line of high energy coffee, and one of them is called jacked up cupcake. This delicious vanilla cupcake flavored coffee is contains 50% more caffeine per cup and how many calories? Zero. Zero calories. Zero. <laughs> uh, this and much, much more is available and roasted to order at uh, BrooklynWaterCoffeeRoasters.com. Punto com. Nice when is it guaranteed to be shipped? Punto com. Within 24 hours of its roasting. Oh, snap. Oh. What about and you? Uh, right now, if you use the code PETE20, all capital P E T E, lowercase two zero. <laughs> capital uh, when you buy capital your first zero. two bags, you get your third one free. So you can, there's a ton of flavors, and they're all really good. You can go ahead, and I'm going to put that in. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Man, oh, so we're covering Black Panther again. Oh, he knocked him. Uh, you saw me hit him? Yes, you he saw, hit him. That was a lot of anger. Oh, 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 oh. Good Basically. Lord. Come on, man. No, uh, John, I, no, I didn't say Brody was. I don't know if you're thinking that I said Brody was going to be running out of town. I said he was going to be running out of town. <laughs> if he attempted to run the New York Mets organization from a GM standpoint, uh, because he basically said he would win the games and all this stuff. I he, would win every game. He'd be running out of town. I would win can't every make, single can't, game. He can't do it. Uh, I no. would do it every single week. Can't do it. And do it hard. I would. And I, I uh, agree that's what was said. That is what was said. Uh, you want to hit that? Seven one eight five seven seven one two seven five. You can answer one of these tough questions out of my deck, and you will go ahead and <laughs> <laughs> dirty, dirty mind. And you will go ahead and you. We'll let you pick, right? You guys, where are we? Let them pick which card they want. The next what one. question. Let them pick the card. Oh yeah, <laughs> let them pick the card. Seven one eight five seven seven one two seven five. No one's calling in because he's he's. It's gonna be like the hardest question, like. It always is. Um, <laughs> let's cue the social media. Oh, is that run, time? run through some social media stuff. It's social media time. All right. It is social media time. 
<laughs> what did you do? That it was. <laughs> um, oh my god! You're watching us on Facebook right now, so you know Are where you? to find us there. You can also find a fan page to be put in the book show. Uh, you can follow us on Instagram as well as Twitter at the PWITB show. Um, you can follow us on YouTube. It's P-W-I-T-B. at Cine Sports Talk, C I N E Sports Talk. Uh, same on Snapchat. Mm-hmm. We don't have separate mm-hmm. ones for, for those two. Um, anywhere you listen to your favorite uh, shows, podcasts, just search out Cine Sports Talk or 27 Ounce Baseball. You can find us there also. Um, for your listening pleasure, that's where you can find all your baseball needs on 27 Ounce Baseball. On the big site, CineSportsTalk.com, we're giving away passes for uh, oh. soon. Not now. This is exclusive <gasps> announcements. What? Uh, we'll Insane. be giving away passes for Good Boys. Um, we'll be giving away passes for Fast and the Furious, the 73rd movie in that series. Um we are also gave away uh, – we, we had a special giveaway up in Boston. I, I'm not sure if there's any left, uh, but it's for Pennyworth, uh, the new DC. Um, oh, Alfred has his own uh, yes, series. Yes, so it's going to be the DC – it's a, a DC uh, series on Epics. Uh, and actually – Warner Brothers or for, DC? DC. DC. For, uh, forget that I um, asked if there's any left because the screening for the first hour of that show was tonight. So hope you enjoyed it if you went. Um, yeah, a little More. late. World Series passes. We'll be able to buy them. City Field. Huh? October. Mm-hmm. Do it. For sure. <clears throat> We're like... No, uh, I, we, we didn't get to the reunion game. Uh, John, I'm, you know, if this is your first time watching, we appreciate it. Uh, we are actually down here in South Florida. Um, so we get two games when we can. Um, I went to one a couple weeks ago on a Friday night where bullpen gave up a win. You're a jinx, you know. Again. Your mother said it. Yeah, we, we hit the games here <laughs> in Marlin Park. We go up to the minor league games, the spring training games uh, up in tradition, Florida. Uh, but speaking of the reunion, sorry to get you pinned, but I put up a video. Check it out if you haven't seen it already. It's the... Jerry Kuzman interview, really good video. Have you guys watched that yet? I didn't no. get to watch yeah, it. Yeah, watch it when you get a chance. Really YouTube, right? Good. I don't YouTube want it. Yeah. yeah. I don't want oh, it. you will. I don't want you it. You will. He doesn't even know who he is. I'm going to put you in a full Nelson and make you watch it. I'm going to put you in a Count Clutch and make Count you watch clutch. it. Count Clutch. Yes. That, yeah, because oh, I don't like Count Clutch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'll tag team and then I'll My mom oh, says you're comic relief. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Mr. Can, uh, can I go ahead and give a quick shout out to our buddy Jim? Absolutely, Jim. Uh, check out our buddy Jim. He's MetsJunkies.com. Uh, yeah, MetsJunkies.com. Tons of articles. He's constantly putting new stuff up there, for, ranging from the minor leagues to uh, today's lineup to what's going on with the Major League Ball Big Club. Jeff. MetsJunkies.com. Check it out. MetsJunkies.com for those of you um, listening in Spanish. (laughs) (laughs) Um, We traded Wilmer Font. News and notes. Little news and notes. Um, Why? I don't know that he had been... We got cash for him, dude. Cash. We sold. He was serviceable. He was coming in and pitching. We sold a human being to another team. Oh, we're going to go through that again? I'm just saying. That's what happened. (laughs) Producer Joe, yes or no, you you trade a player for money. You're selling that player. Yes. All right. Thank you. Um, Yeah, of course you guys. Can we pull out Wilmer Font (laughs) to see... the, the, la- the, the, the last well. time I saw him come come in, he he he's yeah. You know, it was a it was a, a shorter game for whoever started that that game, and he uh, pitched like four innings or so, gave up a couple runs. I don't um, well, last seven games, four point six one ERA. I mean, it's lower than a bullpen ERA. Yeah, absolutely. Last third, you know, last fifteen, four point nine four ERA, and he hasn't pitched since it was. See, it was that it was that game uh, against the Phillies. It was a little out of hand. And he gave up two runs in three innings uh, against the Phillies. So I mean, I mean, it's not a huge loss. I'm not, just saying, considering how we're we're looking for pitching, I guess they wanted to go with, with our own plus, guys. What, okay, that nickname gotta go. What's his name? Funky. Oh, now out. What's his name? Funky. Funky. Why funk? E. And not Fonty. Not Fonty. That's stupid. Interesting. 
Ah, it's better off. <laughs> Change my mind. I don't even care anymore. It's a yeah. jai, he's a Jai Funky. Jai Funky Buddha. Okay. All right. Uh, that's about it that I have. That's all you got for that's today? That's all I got. What do you got? You guys have anything else uh-huh. you want to talk about? Yeah, I want to talk a little bit about... Um, Life, liberty, the pursuit of happiness. Yeah, you know, uh, I got this weird uh, growth. Growth. Can we see it? Uh, <laughs> sure. <laughs> um, no, I'm that's good. I, I, I just, you know. <laughs> oh, we did the prediction. Didn't yeah, we? no, that's. I have it here. Getting ready to bust it out. Ask uh, producer Joe if he can record our predictions. Five and Uh-oh. two. What do you say? Five and two. Five and two. So well, let, should we break, let's break that down a little bit. Okay. What do we do against the Giants? Joe. Science. Producer Joe. Oh, producer Joe goes first. Two, wow. two and two against the Giants. Dosey dose. Ooh, I smell a sweet coming out of that. Padres? That's what he's saying. Three and zero. That's interesting. Um, I'm gonna mimic that. I, I really think. I would love three in seven, cheater. but I don't think it's going to Have your happen. own path to go down. I just so happen to be with you. <laughs> Jeez. I say we, so you say, so you say the same as Joe. I say we go, we split the um, Giants series, two and two. Fighter. And I'm going to completely disagree with these two on the other one. I say we sweep the Padres. What a biter. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. We take two out of three for the Padres. Four and two. Four and three. Four and three. <laughs> I'll learn math one day. <laughs> you will. Rodriguez to my right. I think we're going to do four and three. I, I, I think four and three will be good for us. Uh, uh, w- I'm, we could do five and two. They could be five and two, but... That five and two would be us winning three out of four against the Giants. I just don't know who's. I just don't know who's pitching Sunday. The Padres uh, or Saturday. Saturday's game is we, is our, our starters up in the air. I, I would feel. Why wouldn't more... it be Matt's? Matt's is Sunday. Matt's is Sunday, so it's Wheeler's turn in the rotation. I haven't seen Lugo come in. Didn't they bring that kid up, Jacob Rom, to start? Is he going to start? It's not announced yet. You see, they're against Samarja. And I haven't seen Lugo pitch. Oh, when was the last Sunday. time Lugo pitched? Uh, two days ago. Because uh, the, the day before, remember you said yeah. that you thought yeah. they were going to bring him back out for a two-out save? Yeah. Actually, Vargas, Vargas could actually probably pitch that game. And what, did he only throw in the 80s? Pitch by committee. Pitch count? Yes, Who cares? His, no, arm, I'm, I'm, his arm is garbage. Vargas, Lugo, Giselman, pitch by committee. But well, who knows what they're gonna do? I, I, just... I think they should stay clear of that because we already yeah, have enough trouble. Vargas is always pitched by committee every game he plays. Anyway. Yeah, right. You know, so I'm thinking, and he's been pretty efficient. Eighty innings, eighty pitches might get him five innings. Look, who's this? Who do you have up here? Seth Lugo. Seth Lugo. You see what his nickname is? Puerto Rican. Puerto Rican. <laughs> <laughs> How do you get that? He's probably a quarter of He's Puerto Rican. He's a quarter Rican. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to tell him to come back to the show again, though. Or maybe he likes quarters. <laughs> he, he only buys quarter ounces. He buys quarters? <laughs> yeah. you know, he loves quarter. quarters? <laughs> uh, all right. On that note... <laughs> It's a good note to end on, right? Sure. Ooh, laughter, laughter, breathing that energy out into the universe Very as true. we are about Happy. 45 minutes away from uh, game time. So we appreciate you letting us be your you. pre pregame show. Uh, now you can feel free to head over to SNY or wherever you watch your best pregame. Uh, but SNY is Todd Zeal, and I can never remember the, uh, Gary Apple. Gary Apple and Todd Zeal. Uh, Todd is Todd like, Zeal. Like Would you stop? Hate- Stop it. Come on, man. Stop Watch it. the regular the, the game time? He does, they do the pregame show. Oh, the pregame. Yeah, so we're the pre-pregame show. It's a one and two count. You think he's going to get anything over the middle? They don't play, oh, probably they don't play not. the pregame show. I'm bad. I don't have it. That's why, so. You should. And I'll sure. tell you how to get it. 
Cheater. Tell us on the air. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, again, appreciate everybody watching. Uh, John, we'll try and fix whatever issue we may have had with uh, the phone calling that would explain nobody calling in to try and win a Pete Alonzo card. Uh, but we'll, we'll try and get that fixed up. We'll be back here next Thursday, I think. Um, pull up that schedule one more time because I think that we said tentatively Thursday, it, Thursday, it's Thursday. Day game on Thursday, so we'll be here after the seven games. Perfect. So we'll be here wow. after the seven games. We have our predictions are on the line. No excuses. None of that stuff that you got going that on there. Me. Hey. <laughs> Over there. How are you doing? I like that hat. What excuses? He said five and about? two. I didn't say anything about an excuse. What excuses are going over there? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? I'm pointing at you. Over there. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? He's talking pointing at you, not me. I don't, know. I don't know what's excuses. going on anymore. I'm losing control of the show. They like to talk uh, when I so, it up. <laughs> for myself, Rodriguez. I could say for myself, thanks. Keith. For uh, Keith, thanks. <laughs> you don't get to do that. <laughs> <laughs> and for producer Joe behind the imaginary glass, thank you for watching. Including you, Keith. Thanks for watching the show today. Yeah, uh, I tried. The Put in the Book show. Thanks for watching live. And go ahead and listen to us uh, again tomorrow if you want. Uh, so you can see if this guy or this guy lied about anything that they may or may not have said. On Spreaker, on Spotify, on iHeartRadio, <laughs> uh, and Apple Podcasts and Everywhere. CastBox. I got to wow. say CastBox because he'll get angry with me because wow. it's Android. So wow. anywhere you listen to your favorite podcast, you can feel free to do so after that. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. Good night, guys. Good night. Good night.